Hey folks, what's up? Today we're going to do a little bit of appendix draw work, okay? There's two areas where I keep seeing the same stuff. You know, what we want about of our appendix draw, the, the best way I can explain what we want out of our appendix draw is a very short gun path, okay? I want my gun to come up out of the holster and go straight to the target, straight to my dominant eye and, and sights on target uh, in the shortest path possible. We just can't have big inefficiencies. We can have very small inefficiencies as long as we're fluid, but we can't have big ones. So the very first area has to do with clearing the garment and snatching the gun. They're, they're, they're using a two-step process to get that gun into their hand and their garment cleared out of the way. While there's two functions and your two hands are doing separate functions, we want to make that one step. We got to really get it in our brain that the left hand or our garment hand, whatever hand that is, the garment hand has to beat the gun hand. Okay? If my hands are flying at my gun, no matter if it's from a down position, up position, whatever, if my hands, when I get the stimulus or, or the decision to shoot or the audible beep or whatever it is, to tell me to go, my hands are going to fly towards my gun, both of them. Same time, same intensity. Both hands are flying towards that gun. The, the, the big thing that we have to practice and get ingrained is that that left hand, that garment hand, needs to beat the right hand, okay? I want your draw to, to be like this. Slap, slap, slap. Okay, pat, pat, pat. All right, so if we think about it, we need to really practice beating that, those two hands and this, this gun hand needs to come snatch down underneath that garment and really get there. Okay, so this is the little micro drill that we need to do. Okay, just move that garment and snatch that gun. That's all we got to do. Practice that. Both hands flying towards the gun. Uh, one step. That's all one step. And and once you get really good at that, man, that's that takes a lot of time out of the mix. When you can snatch your gun really quick like that, man, you, 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 the time will come. Speed will come. Once we got the good gun path, once we got the the uh, the slick straight gun path, speed will come so quick. So, number two thing that people are doing. When we draw this gun up out of the holster, I don't mind when people have a little bit of a chicken wing, okay? This arm's gonna come up. We have to get that gun out. And I don't like it when people try to hug their elbows too much because then they're trying to like hug their elbows and they're not fluid and they can't just get the damn gun out. Like, it, you're, you're going too far down that efficiency road, okay? So I don't mind if people have a little chicken wing. What I do mind is when I see people draw the big circle with their elbow. So guys will draw the gun up, they'll draw a big circle like this with their elbow. Big circle and then okay, that's too inefficient, that's too much, right? So what we want to do is as soon as we chicken wing up a little bit, we get that, that gun past the holster. What I like to tell people to do is from there, this is where that gun path really matters. I want that gun to go from there, spiral straight up onto target. From here, target. Here, target. And I want the gun to spiral up. So, as soon as it clears holster, I want you to practice canting the muzzle a little bit gangster style. So a little bit of a gangster angle, that allows some space so that when you drop your garment, you can get on it a little bit quicker and then take that elbow that's chicken winged up just a little bit and instead of rolling it all the way around all we do is pinch it down so then we gangster orient just a little bit our left hand starting to come on the gun our support hand starting to come on the gun we pinch that elbow down and next thing you know we got that straight gun path right so we'll take a couple shots here got like a six inch circle I'm only at five yards so Nothing special here, and we're not even going to go for speed. 
um, but I'll show you with that slick short gun path you know what we can uh, what we can achieve so I'll try to go around like 110 or something One eleven, perfect. All right, let's do that a couple more times. One oh nine. Okay, we'll slowly start speeding it up. Okay, one oh five. Ninety two. Sped that one up a lot of a lot of bit. <laughs> Eighty-eight. Eighty-three. Eighty-one. Simple, simple stuff. I'm not moving a lot. Gun is just it has a short path. Very simple, short, short path. Short path. Short path. Okay, you know, those are less than a second, a 105, a 98, stuff like that. So simple stuff, that short gun path is the most important thing, okay? That's the most important thing we can work on. Take her easy, guys.